Well, Steve White, Steve White, C9. Well, I finally got the real Ghostbusters Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. I have debated on getting this figure for so long because as iconic as he is in the original film, he was in it for like 10 minutes. You know, he basically gets created, stomps around the city for 5, 10 minutes and then blows up. It's not like a like Slimer who we saw all the time or a generic ghost or something. I always sort of thought like, eh, yes, it'd be cool to have it because he's, you know, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. But I think even back in the day I didn't want him because like, I feel like he'd have much playability. I don't know. But um, I got the new Kenner version, the reissued Kenner version. Um, with slightly different artwork, I think. That color's slightly different. Um, I was really lucky with this because it's really weird. I tried, I've tried. i tried to buy this three times, and each time something went wrong. First time, um, the website of the place couldn't process um, the payment. Then the next person... Um, they cancelled it, like, for no reason, and they never explained why. And then I couldn't find it in Australia. Every other one had, like, $30, $40, $50 worth of postage, and I thought, I'm never going to have this figure, so I'm not spending, like, $80 on it or something like that, crazy like that. But um, I found a local guy, and it ended up being $2 cheaper than the one that cancelled, which was the cheapest one that I'd seen at that point. So it worked out pretty good. Um, okay, so he's already cut, and looks like he's going to be very easy to get out. A lot of these figures are just so secure in their packaging, they're a nightmare to get out, but he... I'm just going to pop that in. Yep, not an issue. Thank God. And now I'm a bit shocked that he doesn't have any um, leg articulation. Like, you'd think you'd at least better do something. He's so big. He's got plenty of room. He does have natural lines, like with his feet and that. I thought these would have been articulated. I'm kind of shocked there. I know the arms are, obviously. And the head, and he's cool. I, I kind of considered getting some of the little Stay Puft Marshmallow Men from the um the film, um, the new one. But I don't know. This is the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, and he was in the um, opening credits for um, the real Ghostbusters. So he did make an appearance in every episode in some ways, and he's iconic, and he does look cool. And I'm glad I got him, but it was just a matter of money. Um, every time I saw him, he was. 80 to 100, 150 dollars, it was ridiculous, and I just wasn't going to pay that much for him, because I didn't, didn't love the character, didn't feel like it has, you know, it was, you know, just a bunch of reasons I already gave. Um, now, now I kind of feel like my ghost collection is kind of complete, because for the longest time I didn't have, um, Bug-Eyed Ghost, or Stay Puft Marsh Marshmallow Man, and this one I really wanted, because my friend had him, and I used to play with his one, and I really wanted one, although I think the purple was a little different, but, um, you know, so I finally got him, and that was a big deal because I wanted him for ages. And I'd, at that point, I'd only seen vintage ones, which were like a fortune. But um, then they started re-releasing the, um, the Ghostbusters, so I got that one. And I have my original Slimer. Now he's got some issues. Like I cracked him when I pulled his tail off, so I could fill him up with slime, and I cut his mouth. So when you squeeze him, the slime will come out his mouth. But um. Unfortunately, I also coloured in the back of his throat, which I didn't do a very good job of with a black pen. So at some point, I'll have to fix that. But I've been tempted to buy a new one of him, just because it's perfect and mine has a couple of little flaws. Overall, it's pretty good for its age. But um, also for the packaging, because all the packaging, all of them have a little bit of art on the cover. I got reissues of the original Ghostbusters. That one was torn, unfortunately. They, um... <sighs> They didn't show up, and when I complained, the guy basically sent me um, a second set that he had, but it wasn't the one pictured, and this had this big tear on there, which I didn't know about till I got it, so I wasn't happy because I had bought, you know, perfect ones. So, but they each got artwork, and the backs are all pretty much exactly the same. Um, and that one's the same one as the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, so I did already have this cover. I thought it was different. Oh, no, it is different. Slightly different. It's the same figures being advertised, but, um, yeah, so a little bit different. Basically the same thing. Because I'm also collecting the packaging. I do, yes, I do open them, yes, I do cut them off. I just keep the cards like this, cut off the bubbles, and I just have a box full of cards I can look through whenever I feel nostalgic. Um, and Bug Eye Ghost, he's a little bit different. I mean, he's got his artwork as well. I mean, Stay Puff has his. They all have that little bit of art at the top just to make it... 
is packaging different, but um, the back one had of course instructions on how to bug the eye, but um, it didn't have anything interesting on the back. That was the first one I got, and I'm like, oh, I wanted one with all the Ghostbusters on the back and everything, and all we had was the Fearsome Flush and the Ecto-1. And I might even get the Ecto-1, that might be the last thing out of my Ghostbusters, real Ghostbusters collection. But um, for now, I'm just happy that my Ghost collection is a little bit more complete. Because I really love the soft, rubbery ones, like these ones that squirt water and these ones that pop them out. So that's my little, little Ghostbusters collection. Because I also have um, the ones that blow, blow slime, they're all hard plastic. They feel more like play sets, I don't really like them as much. But um, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.